This month's groove gives us our first repeat drummer on Groove of the Month in Dominic Howard, who was previously featured way back in May of 2015. This predates the Musician's Notepad YouTube channel going back to when we were purely a blog. By the way, we still do maintain that blog, though way less frequently than we used to. If you're interested in contributing, please email me. Back to the groove. Even though there are many drummers worthy of having multiple groups featured, I have been actively trying to avoid having a drummer or a band on for a second time purely because doing so forces me to search outside of my regular listening pool. This one, however, was brought to me by a student, and it's the groove that takes place underneath the main guitar lead. First off, let's talk about how I originally heard the groove. This groove is kind of a harder take on the disco or dance groove. There are high openings on the upbeats with snare on 2 and 4. Kicks happen on the 1, 1 and, and 2 E, as well as mirroring out to the 3, 3 and, and 4 E. I've taught and performed Hysteria this way for years, but as my student was working on the song, she thought she heard something a little more. We went back and listened, and I started to hear what she was talking about. To confirm, we looked up a live version, which is the exact same thing I had to do last time I did Dominic Howard tune on Groove of the Month. He's crashing the ride the entire way through. So let's go back and add those eighth notes in over the top. I'm proud of my student for hearing and figuring this out, and it served as a reminder to me to really open my ears. Over time, I've written out and had to learn so many songs that I'm sure I default to a standard playbook of the way that I hear beats, wherein many of the nuances are going to fall by the wayside. Like Knights of Cydonia, this song has many different and interesting parts. It's great for work on theme and variation, the idea of how to write drum hooks, how to build a song as it goes along, and many more. And one more reason why Dominic Howard should be considered one of the greats of this era of rock drumming. What would you like to see for Groove of the Month? Leave a comment below or send us a tweet at Musicians Notes with the hashtag GOTM. If you want to see a complete playthrough of this month's tune, there's a link in the description below, as well as a link to our Spotify playlist of all the previous Grooves of the Month. Are any of you going to PASIC? Both Drew and I will be there again in a few weeks, so message us if you want to try and meet up. It'd be great to catch a couple of clinics with you guys. Other than that, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that stuff. Let's hit it.